Hello and welcome back and today I want to talk about another NAS from the Synology 2020 launch but not just any NAS I want to talk about what could potentially be the best NAS at this show all too often when we watch these videos you kind of you know this video or anyone else's video when I do a launch of these big events from the different NAS brands you sit there and watch oh it's another J oh it's another ARM CPR oh, it's another NAS right this is the DS1620XS Plus. And if you let me take your hand, stay with me a bit, because this is probably one of the best NASes from this show. For a start, it has got a quad-core Xeon-based CPU. And to check my notes, it's a D1527, as seen on a DS3617XS Plus. It is a 2.2 GHz CPU that can be burst up to 2.7 GHz. On top of that, it arrives with 8 GB of DDR4 ECC memory that can be upgraded all the way to 32 gigabytes on top of that it has got nvme ssd slots which means it's got two slots for ssd bays inside it's a six bay that can be expanded to 16 bays of storage and also unless my translation is very very bad it also supports 2.5 gbe four ports to be precise along with a pcie upgrade card so what i'm saying here is this thing is serious. This is some serious NAS. Now, of course, this thing has got business in mind, but with that CPU and these credentials, NVMe SSD upgrade slots and those 2.5 GBE ports, potentially, which I'll get into in a bit, this could be a great Plex NAS for a number of you out there without going to the beefy, beefy, beefy 3617, and hopefully we'll see an update to that too. But let's reel it in a little bit and talk about those ports. Now, pretty much all of the things I've said here about these specifications are 100% confirmed. There's just one detail I'm not sure about. It even made me consider not making this video because in a few days I'll hopefully have the confirmed answer, but I could have left it those bunch of days and you guys, some of you might not have known about it or you could get this misinformation elsewhere. So what I want to give you is the information that I've picked up that a lot of people are picking up right now, but add this caveat. Because this NAS is being described as having those four 2.5 GPE ports. And this is based on uh, a specification card at the event for that device. Uh, you know, whenever you go to any of these trade shows, you end up with the NAS. And next to it, a little display card that says the name and a few things about what it can do. And it essentially describes a NAS server to you in basic PC terms, CPU, memory, and stuff like that. And then a few details about IOPS, perhaps, or surveillance cameras, and a few different bits of information that effectively are geared towards the end user to decide, yes, this NAS X is right for Y. But the 2.5 GBE port is quite an enigma, because although it states 2.5 GBE in um, Taiwanese on that card and translations that I've taken do indeed indicate that to be the case hopefully it's on screen if not go to the NAS compare article or it's all laid out down there <clears throat> I'm still not sure because this won't be the first time there's been either a translation or a printing issue on some of these cards and I already did uh, in my Q&A's early this year I spoke with Synology about whether they were going to be adopting greater than 1 GBE standard LAN, such as 2.5 GBE and 5, um, 5 GBE in their NASes, and they said they had no plans at that time. Maybe they'll be in KG Integrative, maybe this is a typo, but I'm inclined to think this is true, because what you've got here is a 6 bay that can be expanded to 16 bays, with one of the best um, disk station NAS CPUs going, some of the best memory you can get, SSD um, cache in the form of NVMe, uh, PCIe based SSDs and 2.5 gigabit Ethernet port and a PCIe slot for adding 10 GBE to 25 GBE or 40 GBE. This is a serious piece of kit. There are things, of course, it won't do. It's not going to provide SHR. And of course, because it's an XS, you an XS series, because it's enterprise, that means it's going to be expensive, but you will get those five years of warranty. And of course, it will do pretty much anything a modern NAS is supposed to do. And we are talking VM surveillance, the Office of Collaboration Suite from Synology and everything that we saw that DSM-7 is heavily promoting everything from that great SSD caching techniques with pinning of, data, of metadata and more, as well as all of the great analytical tools that are going to be open to you. And if you're using it for VMs, you know, vSphere dashboard that we talked about before, all of that stuff is going to be open to you with this device. This 
is an interesting NAS and potentially the best NAS I'm going to see at Solanity 2020 in all of their worldwide events. I'm going to wrap things up here, but trust me, go to that description. It's a bit waffly down there, uh, the link to NAS compares, but it will give you far more precise information about these specifications and some more images to give you an idea of what this device is going to look like. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to click like and subscribe and click the bell to be more notified about further products that are coming up soon at these events. And of course, I'm going to be at Germany next week. And then you've got further um, events all around the world to be covered. Otherwise, cheerio. And I'll see you on the next video.